Wake up, wake up, and dream again. Get up, get up, sing with me, my friend. Olivia believes in dreams. Noah lives his dreams. We are the dreamers, come along, you'll see. Wake up, wake up, and dream again. Get up, get up, sing with me, my friend. Our dreams are the world we live in. We create the dreams we believe in. We are the dreamers and we love to dream. Oh, hi kids, I didn't see you there. From A to Z, from East to West, you're all here, aren't you? Welcome back to Dream Again. Kids, it's story time. Are you excited about story time? Well, we have another nice and beautiful and adventurous and exciting and suspenseful story this week. Yeah, are you excited? Elmo, are you ready? Peppa? Big Bear, Grizzly, Olivia. Fluffy is sleeping. Don't snore too loud, Fluffy. Today we have a beautiful story. It's called The Wolf and the Kids. Are we ready to start, kids? Yes? You have your pillow and your blanket ready? Okay, so let's start. Once upon a time, a mother goat and her seven little kids lived in a cozy house near a deep, dark forest. In that forest lived a wicked wolf. Ooh! Always a wolf. Scary. One day, Mother Goat had to go shopping. She called her children to her and warned them, Lock the door! And do not open it to anyone while I am gone. For it might be the wicked wolf who will want to eat you up. Close the door. Make sure everything is closed and locked. All the doors and windows. So the seven kids promised not to open the door to anyone. And Mother Goat went on her way. Are you sure all the doors are closed? The windows too? Yes. Shortly after she left, there was a knocking at the door. Let me in, my dear children, a voice said. It is your mother, and I have brought something for each of you. Open the door and let me in. The seven kids were standing in front of the door. Should we open the door? I think it's our mother, but I'm not sure. They were ready to open the door when they saw a black paw on the window sill. You are not our mother, they cried. Our mother's paw is white and yours is black. You are the wicked wolf. Go away. Ah. And the kids didn't open the door. Woohoo. Yay. They're safe. So the wicked wolf went to the baker and said, Cover my paws with white flour and I will eat you up. Cover my paws with white flour, or I will eat you up. Arrgh! The poor baker was very frightened, so he did as he was told. Then, the wolf went back to the cozy house near the forest and put his white paw on the window sill. Open the door, my dear children, he said. It is your mother, and I have brought something for you, each of you. The seven kids stood in front of the door again. And this time, they saw the white paw. It's mother, they cried. 
and they open the door. But no, it was the wicked wolf. Oh no! The kids were terrified and ran to hide. Quick, quick, hide, hide, hide. Hide, Elmo, hide, Olivia, hide, Fluffy. Hide, Polar Bear and Mickey and Peppa. Hide, quickly. The first ran under the table. The second sprang into bed. The third hid in the laundry basket. The fourth jumped into a barrel. The fifth climbed into a cupboard. The sixth crawled under a wash tub. And the seventh and youngest got into the grandfather clock. <gasps> Did you hide all? Did you hide? But the wolf found them and popped them all into his sack. All but the youngest, who was in the grandfather clock. Then that wicked wolf started back home through the forest. The sack was so heavy that he soon had to stop and lie down for a rest. And he dozed off, dreaming of the fine supper he would have. When Mother Goat arrived home, everything was topsy-turvy and her children were nowhere to be found. Then she heard a noise in the clock. <gasps> Out jumped the youngest kid who told his mother how the wolf had tricked them all. Oh, mommy, help! The wolf was here and he took my siblings, all six of them. We need to do something. Please help. Mother Goat set out to find the wolf and soon she came upon him snoring under a tree. She saw something moving in the sack. The rope around the sack was so tight she couldn't untie it, so she rushed home to get her sewing basket. She took her scissors and snip, snip, snip. She cut open the sack. One, two, three, four, five, six. Out bounded her little kids. Mother Goat told each of the kids to find a big stone. She filled the empty sack with them and neatly sewed it shut. <gasps> Yay! So it looks like as if the kids were in there, right? Yeah. She's tricking the big bad wolf, isn't she? After a while, the wicked wolf woke up. Hmm. Oh, that was a good sleep. Now I'm hungry. He threw the sack over his shoulder and started off again. My, this sack is heavy, he said. What plump little kids I have caught. <laughs> the wolf was very hungry. Mm, I haven't eaten anything. I'm very, 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 very hungry. <laughs> By the time he had carried that heavy sack all the way home, he was even hungrier. Mm. My stomach is growling. Mm. He opened it up right away. <gasps> what? cried the wolf. Stones? Stones? Where have these stones come from? He was very angry and very disappointed and very, very hungry. So he packed his things, went home to his mother for supper and never came back again. Well, kids, why didn't the wolf just go to his mother and eat there? Why did he go to the goats? He wanted to have seven goats and not just a bowl of soup. I understand that. I don't like soup, but still. You don't eat goats. No, that's not nice. But the mother goat, she saved her kids, didn't she? She did. Another happy ending.
too good story. Right? Well, kids, I think that's it for today. It's time to go to bed and say goodbye. Good night, sleep tight, and remember to dream again. Bye, kids. Bye. Bye-bye. Wake up, wake up, and dream again. Wake up, wake up, and dream again. Olivia believes in dreams. Noah lives his dreams. They are the dreamers and they love to dream. Wake up, wake up, and dream again. Wake up, wake up, and dream again. Our dreams are the world we live in. We create the dreams we believe in. We are the dreamers and we love to dream. Hi there! If you like what you see on Dream Again, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, like us, and comment down below.